So I said in my shark appreciation video I would talk about ram ventilation and how, what it is and how it works so that's what I will do now. So you've heard like the thing where like if sharks stop swimming they die because they can't breathe without swimming and that is basically what ram ventilation is. However, it's not the case with everything and it's not only just the case with sharks. This is the case with most commonly known shark species, such as this great white shark. They are a type of shark that uses ram ventilation to breathe. However, other shark species, such as this nurse shark, do not use ram ventilation and therefore are able to rest on the seafloor for a while without suffocating because they do not need ram ventilation to breathe. They breathe through other mechanisms and are completely fine just chilling on the seafloor. They do not need to breathe. Additionally, sharks are not the only type of fish that do ram ventilation. Large fish such as tuna, like this, is another type of animal or fish, I guess, that also uses ram ventilation but is not as commonly known about as sharks using it. So first to start off, let's talk about how the mammalian respiratory system works, so mammals like humans. So during inhalation, so air goes in, this is caused by the diaphragm going down, like the diaphragm muscle contracts and pulls down and that expands the lungs creating negative pressure which forces the air in. So like most things, air wants to go from high pressure to low pressure, and when the lungs expand, they create a area of lower pressure, so that's where the air wants to go in order to equalize the pressure all around. So yeah, diaphragm down, space increase, air in. Then during exhalation, so when you breathe out, the diaphragm relaxes and that it goes upwards, which makes the lung and rib cage and whatever space smaller, which creates a area of higher pressure, which then forces the air out of your lungs to the lower pressure outside, again from high to low. Ironically, I forgot to breathe the entire time I was explaining that. So diaphragm up, lungs smaller, air out. That is the basics of how the mammalian respiratory system works like and then when the air goes in it goes over the alveoli and everything and dissolves into your bloodstream through the lung membrane of the lungs just into your bloodstream where it does all of the circulatory stuff now how ram ventilation works most species of fish with a few exceptions do not have lungs they have gills instead now, some fish, like the nurse shark I talked about earlier, don't use ram ventilation. They have a kind of similar mechanism to breathing where they have to, like, like they have to actively inhale uh, the water through their mouth and, like, they have a mechanism, muscular mechanisms that actually do the high to low pressure thing and make water come in, but that's not how it works with ram ventilation. So fish that use ram ventilation, they do not have the mechanisms to like actively pull water in through their mouth and over their gills. So what they have to do instead is swim with their mouth open constantly. So water is just shoved in instead of going like, <gasps> it's just basically going like open your mouth and move forwards. So as the water goes in, it goes in through the mouth and over the gills where it is absorbed into the bloodstream. So sharks have no way of like inhaling water like some other fish species do and how we do with oxygen. So they have to rely on the going forwards motion in order to force water into their mouths and over the gill slits and then out. Yeah, so other fish like breathe by like actively gulping water in like we do when we're drinking or breathing, but sharks don't do that. So that is why they have to keep swimming in order to keep breathing because if they stop, the water is no longer going in their mouths because they're not moving forward and that is not pushing it through the mouth over the gills. And that is why, that is another reason why shark fin soup is really, really not great because for shark fin soup, this is totally unrelated, but so for shark fin soup, the sharks are caught and then their fins and their tail and like their, their pectoral fins, their dorsal fins and their tail fins are cut off and the rest of it is just tossed back into the water, usually alive. 
And while that by itself is cruel and shitty, but it's extra cruel because that shark will likely suffocate to death because it can no longer propel itself forwards and can no longer breathe because it can no longer move. That was just like a complete tangent there, but yeah, that is how ram ventilation works. Mouth open, go forward, water is forced over the, like, into the mouth, over the gills. There is no active breathing in mechanism in animals that use ram ventilation.